so this is a case of fracture scaphoid and uh, orthopedic surgeon has decided to do an internal fixation so we are planning for a supracravicular block for this case uh, ultrasound guided or uh, pns guided blocks are good uh, and we have decided for the pns guided block here so first i'll demonstrate the equipment used in this process so this is a pns instrument and uh, these are the electrodes and the needle first i will show you the instrument first we have to connect it through this adapter and charge the uh, machine with this adapter so our machine is charged right now so i'll switch it on and after switching on we can see that the current is set at 3 milliampere uh, we can increase it with a up button and decrease it with the down button as you can see here so after connecting the electrodes and the needle to the peripheral nerve stimulator uh, we will start the procedure here is the electrode which has to be connected to the patient if this electrode is not connected then twitches will not appear and uh, we will think that we are not in the right plane this is a common mistake we have to keep in the mind always attach the electrode then we will put the needle into the patient and as we go nearer to the now we will see the twitching and uh, if the uh, twitches are strong then we will decrease the current from 3 to 2.5 2.2 and so on till 0.6 or 0.5 milliampere even so up to the 0.5 milliampere if there are twitches then we are right near to the now but not into the now and we can deposit the drug near the now but if, if but if twitches are there even at the 0.2 or 0.3 milliampere that means we are into the now and putting Here we are giving a supraclavicular block, brachial plexus block. I am doing painting with first betadine and then spirit. Then clean the area for supraclavicular block. Now I am going to put a draping with green seat, sterile seat we have a scaffold surgery scaffold fixation and for that reason we are giving brachial plexus block by supraclavicular approach I already put trapping and then I am going for local infiltration for blunt needle placement. So it's a superficial block infiltration block for skin and some sub -Q. because uh, block needle is somewhat uh, blunt so it can cause a pain to the patient so for this reason to block skin we give infiltrate local anesthesia now we are putting a needle block needle which is a 5 cm long here we start we set milliampere 3 milliampere current and here we are starting now locator current is going through the needle and we are going put needle into supraclavicular region for block of brachial plexus during this procedure we have to watch for 
जर्की मूवमेंट्स इन द हैंड वेन निडल पासिस नियर दि नव इट कॉजिस इट गिव्स करंट टू दि नव एंड नव इज स्टिम्युलेटेड एंड वी कैन ऑब्जर्व जर्की मूवमेंट्स make sure position of the patient is good or appropriate for block we are located subclavian artery pulsation and lateral to the pulsation we are putting needle now you can see the movements is going on hands hands and elbow in both the sides you can see elbow el as well as wrist joints both are having movement now we are decreasing current in milliampere and giving less than 0.5 or more than 0.2 we are decreasing current and now we are uh, ah you can see current is 0.6 0.5 and still patient having a nerve is stimulating here we are going to give drugs local anesthetics with volume is 30 ml we are giving 30 ml volume by needle now when we give drugs we give drugs and the, the nerve stimulation is off nerve is blocked we give total 30 ml of volume of local anesthetic to block the brachial plexus current is set is 0.5 milliampere current 0.5 milliampere less than 0.5 milliampere and more than 0.2 milliampere is the ideal location of block to block the wall brachial plexus and achieve very good sensory and motor blocks here we off now look at it and now surgeon is going for surgery look scaffold fixation the pass k wire through the cap scaffold and give fixation to scaffold which is very painful procedure and sometimes it takes time also look look patient is very comfortable he is smiling he can talk no sedation is there only mild sedation here you can see on i t v so scaffold fixation done by surgeon orthopedic patient is totally painless and feeling very happy Okay thank you everyone